want to welcome all to the Anteater Wellness Wednesday presented by the chapters of UC Irvine alumni. Um, we have over 36 chapters worldwide. So there is a chapter hopefully that suits you. The Tian is our presenter today. She is actually with Campus Wide Honors uh, chapter. It's a great chapter. I see a couple of your, your chapter mates here on this class. So it'll be mm -hmm. great. Every uh, fourth Wednesday of the month, we have a Wellness Wednesday presented by one of our chapter members. So I hope you consider uh, joining one of the chapters, getting connected, learning um, about your fellow alumni and networking with everyone. So I am going to go ahead and pass the floor on to um, Tian and she is going to show us and tell us all about Pilates. This should be a fun class. It's all yours, Tian. Thank you. All right, so let me share my audio, so I'll do that, let me get that, ooh, um, Elsa, can you stop screen sharing so I can share the audio? Uh, stop your screen sharing, okay, uh, there, there you go. go, yeah, all right, so let me share my audio, I'll do a quick, um, can everyone hear that? My great. Awesome. Awesome. I see yeses. I can see here. Okay, perfect. Thank you, everyone. All right. So as Elsa mentioned, my name is Tian. I am part of the Campus Wide Honors Chapter, and I am so excited to be leading today's Wellness Wednesday. Um, I got certified in Pop Pilates um, in March, so I've actually been practicing, you know, teaching some classes, but this is really my first major class with this many people, so thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, so what Pop Pilates is, is what we like to describe it as a dance on the mat. So you have um, a lot of, like, classic Pilates moves mixed with pop music to bring a fun edge to it. We're really going to be working on our core, strengthening our core as well working the other muscle groups. So um, if everyone has their yoga mat, has their area and space there and is ready to work out, we can get started. All right, so here we go. I really wish I could see everyone, but it's all right. We'll have a recording of this. So let me, I'm gonna try, um, playing music from my iPad, and so I don't have to step back and forth all the time. Um, let's see. Or maybe I have to do it from my phone. Let's try. If I play music here, try I'm going giving to you my heart. on my phone. Now I know you did want it. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right. All right, everyone. So um, I also want to mention that if you are, if this is your first time doing any Pilates or any kind of exercise um, like this, it is perfectly okay if you need to do the modifications. If you are, if you have some shoulders, some knee restraints, some injuries in the past, um, I would really prefer, um, how do I, sorry, give me a second. Also, how do I make myself full screen? Is there a way? You know to what? It would be great if everyone goes to the top right corner and hits speaker view, and then I'm going to actually try to uh, do the focus tab on you as well. Okay. So if everyone okay, goes perfect. up to the right corner, right hand corner of their screen, hit speaker view, then you will focus on Tim. Perfect. Thank you, and thank you, Peter, for bringing that up. Uh, so, as as I was saying, if this is your first time doing something like this please feel free to take the modification. If you don't, if you can't stretch in one way or another, no big deal, take the modification and build up to it. Um, I will be showing different modifications throughout and you know, we'll, and just have fun with it. You're working out, it's been a long day at work, or I guess it's some, someone's in a different time zone, you're just getting up in the morning. Um, but it's going to be a great way to just reward your body and say thank you for um, doing what you do for me. All right, so first we're going to start off with our standing warm up. You're going to bring your 
uh, knees hip width apart. Um, you can widen your base if that's gonna help your balance. But we're going to sit back, like we're in a chair. Sit back, knees above the toes, arms up and back down. If you can't bring your arms above your head, perfectly fine. Um, bring it up here or even just rest them right here, okay? So let's get started. I can sync my phone and my laptop sound. Okay, let's try that. All right, everyone, hip width apart. Try giving you my heart. We're going now I know you down and up into our flying chair. Down it's no and up. Use. You're going to want to inhale. As you go down, exhale up, yeah, inhale down, exhale up. One more for me. All right, you're going to step out, to lunge to the, the side, you. reach down as far as you can go. Maybe you can touch the floor, maybe you can't. Remember to keep you your knees not going past your toes. Flying chair for two. To you. All right, triple step glide. It's all right. Half, it's so two. Three, glide. One, two, three, glide. And top, two, three, glide. Okay, getting the heart rate up, warming up the legs. Your legs are the biggest muscles in your body. I'll give me one more. All right, back to our flying chair. Down and up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Step out, side to side sweep. You're going to keep your back straight, bend at the hip. Last one. Feet together, down and up. Triple step glide. Tap, two, three, glide. Tap, two, three, Glide. One, two, three, glide. Watch your balance. Don't overstep it. Doesn't have to be a big move. You add the arms. That's really going to increase your heart rate. All right, we're going to do singles. Side. Single. Glide. Tap. Glide. Tap. Glide. Couple more. All right. Back to our flying chair. Inhale and exhale. Remember, push the butt back like you're sitting in a chair. I try giving One you more. My heart. I try giving you my heart. Now I know you Step out. Side to side lunge. Scoop and up. Scoop up. It's Ready? Right. Half. It's okay. Two. Three. Glide. Getting your heart rate up. You feel a little out of breath. That's okay. You can take the arms out, or you can just maybe stand side to side instead of going overhead. Tap, two, three, glide. All right, single, glide, tap, glide, tap, glide, tap, glide. I know I can't see you, but I know you're all doing beautifully. Woo! We're gonna get started. It's gonna be great. We're stressing our bodies. All right, last one. Back to our flying chair. Ending it just how we started. Last one and up. All right, great job, everyone. Okay, let me demonstrate this next one before we go on to it because it's a little bit uh, more advanced. You're going to stand at the edge of your mat. We're going to come on down to the floor here, and we're going to do a downward dog spinal wave. So push your heels into the mat, downward dog. It's okay if your heels are like this, okay? Um, just push them down as much as you can. You're stretching out your calves, your hamstrings. You're going to lift the heel, roll the back, land in plank, okay? Your option, to do it on your knees, right here. Okay, so let's get started. 
we're going to start in plank position. And as, take a deep breath in and exhale. We're going to go into downward dog, pushing the heels into the mat. We're going to lift and roll, land in plank. Push the heels into the mat, lift up, roll the body, feel it, and land in plank. When you're in plank, you're going to make sure your body's straight. Okay. Remember your options. Do it on your knees. Roll, land in plank. Alright, hold that plank for a couple counts here. We're going to lift one knee and drop it down. Okay, so drop it 45 degrees. You can bend your back knee or keep it straight. Arms outside the mat. Down. Pigeon. Up. Inhale. Down. Squeeze the back. Exhale. Up. Really feel it in your back muscle. As you squeeze, hands are in little peepee outside. You need one more. Alright, put your palms down, lift up, back downward dog, lift the heel, roll this time. Okay, adding that extra layer from before, rolling the heel, and then facing upwards. Okay, couple more. Lift the heel, roll, face upward, back to plank. Alright, other knee this time. Lift up. You're going to drop it, drop the back knee. Then we're going to bend, keep it straight. Arms outside, a little peepee, kick and push up. Inhale, down, two, three. Uphill. Uphill. What is an uphill? Inhale, down, two, three, exhale, up. That's what I meant to say. Inhale, down, squeeze those shoulder blades coming up. Inhale, down, exhale, up. Arms down. We're going to go back to our downward dog or your modification on your knee, child pose. Okay. Alright, go back to your downward dog. Couple more spinal waves. Lift, roll, and facing upwards. Back to our downward dog. Push those heels down. Lift, roll, and It's slow. You don't have to rush it. But we're getting our full body. Open up for the rest of our workout. Still just the warm up. Again, if you need to do this on your knees, feel free to alternate between the two. Okay, hold it in plank. Drop the knees. Drop the toes. Go back into child's pose. Woo! Great job, everyone. I'm so glad that we got through that one. All right. Next, we're going to do our hundreds. So this is the first of many for our abs and our core. So we're going to sit down here. We're going to roll back, lay down onto the floor, onto the mat. We're going to keep our knees above our hips. Not like this, not like this, not like that. Perfectly straight right here, okay? So the move that we're going to do, be doing a lot in this one is called our scissors. And you can either keep your legs straight, cut, 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 or you can modify right here, okay? Other moves, I'll give modifications as we go. So to set up, knees above the hips, lift the shoulders, lift the head if you can, arms glued together, pointing towards the door. We're going to inhale 
and exhale. Pump, two, three. Wait. Can you guys? I think the music went off. Hold on. I have to log on to my computer again. Okay. There we go. Back to position, everyone. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. You're going to look past your toes. Fingers glued together when you're towards the end of your mat. You pump it. Feel your core engage as you lift your chin. Lift your head off the mat. Alright. We're coming on down. We're going to roll up. Move your legs into the floor. As you move the floor to get up. Like a sit up. Modification. Bend your knees. Let you lift up. Next is our jack pride. Lift one leg. Back down. Other leg lift. Off it. Then lift all the way off the ground. Alright, here are those scissors. Legs up. Kick. Woo. You got a lot of these. If you need to, you can always modify. Go into your bent knees for a couple. But then, if you want to challenge yourself, 2020 has been a challenging year, so we can add another challenge on top of it. Keep going, you're almost there. A couple more. Alright, back to our reset. Knees above the hip. Arms up. Pump. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. If you need to lift, you rest your head down on the mat. That's okay. Push yourself. You signed up for this class with me, which I'm so excited about. And I want you to be the best you that there can be. Alright. Come on to the floor. Here the rules go up. Up. Two. Down. Inhale. Up. Exhale down. Doing great. Last one. Alright, here we go. Lift. Remember, bend speed. You don't lift all the way up if you can. Exhale up and go down. Alright, here we go. Scissors, so ready? Pick those legs. Great if you can. If not, bend them. If you've been doing bent knee the whole time, maybe you want to try two or three straight ones. Or, if you've been doing bent the whole time, uh, straight the whole time, and you need a break, do two or three bent knees. You know your body best. Alright, ending with four roll ups. Here we go. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Make these the best. Last one. Down and stretch. Woo! Great job, everyone. All right. So, going to be moving on to our butt challenge. So, we're going to be on our hands and knees. Um, if you have knee issues, what I usually recommend is either putting a pillow underneath your knees or folding up your mat a little bit. Um, to help with that cushion. If not, uh, go ahead and just use the area that you have. So we're going to be doing a side tap to lift, okay? We're going to tap to the side, lift up. Really working on one glute and then moving on to the other. Um, your modification, don't tap too far to the outside. You can tap straight down, lift up, okay? All right. Okay, so let's get started. On your hands and knees, uh, make sure your shoulders are right above your wrist. We're going to tap, lift. Tap outside, lift up. Inhale, tap, exhale up. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's slow. Control movement. That's the key here. Squatting is about working the little muscles that we usually don't work. And up. Tap. Up. We're doing great. Remember to breathe. Flex that foot. Up, up, down. Lift, up, down. Now you don't want to drop lower than your hip. You want to keep the glute engaged the entire time. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. If you can't lift very high, that's okay. Back to our tap. Up. Side tap. Lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Got a couple more of these. Exhale. Inhale. Alright, press that foot. Pulls up. Woo. Lift. Up. 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 You don't want to drop the foot too low. You're doing great. Really feel your glutes engaged. All right, other side, tap, lift, tap, lift. See, you already did one side, so you have to do the other side now. Because you can't have an uneven glute, right? I mean, you could, but... All right, what's the foot? Up, up, down. Up, up, down. You want to be aware of how far you're dropping that foot. No more than hip, okay? Parallel to the rest of your body. Like a 180 degree thing. All right, back to our tap. Lift. Tap. Lift. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, couple more, flex the foot, and lift, 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 remember to breathe, you're focusing on your breathing, but you also focus on your breath, really feel one side engage, tap side, lift up, Next up. Tap, lift, tap, lift. Ending on the side. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. All right. Go back into child's pose. Drop the knees, drop the hands. Onto the mat. Woo! Okay. I can't see that big wall of text that I see on my screen. Um, so Elsa, just let me know if there's an issue with the audio or something. Oh, okay. Doing great, everyone. Getting a heart rate up. I know my heart rate up is up. I hope yours is. <laughs> so, all right, quick break, quick break. We're going to move on to our ab challenge. You thought the hundreds was a challenge. Here's your next challenge. You have a lot of challenges, but that's okay. Challenges help us grow as people. All right, so for your ab challenge, you're going to be sitting nice and tall. You can either bend your knees or keep them straight. And we're gonna do what we call the earthquake. Why is it called the earthquake? Because your body is going to shake. Your core is going to shake. So go ahead, bend your knees, sit up straight, shoulders away from the ears, arms out in front of you and I want you to lean back and not just not just like a casual lean back but I want you to go back as far as you can as far as you can as far as you can until you feel your core engage and you feel the shake okay I don't know if you can see it on screen but I'm already shaking right here and we're going to be doing that so challenge yourself you know where you can push yourself um, and let's get started all right so knees are gonna be in front of you. Deep breath in, exhale, push yourself back as far as you can go. Maybe you can't go as far as I'm here, maybe you're only here, or maybe you're like all the way down. Whatever your skill level is at, push yourself a little bit more. Inhale through the nose, 
exhale to the mouth. Focus on the breath. I know you're shaking, pushing yourself, keeping your gaze in front. All right, next level. One arm up. Don't worry, we'll switch arms. Inhale the nose. Exhale, switch. Right. We're going to be coming down to the floor. Your arms sit up. We're going to go one, two, three, down. Modification. Don't go up. All the way. Lift your shoulders off the mat. Inhale. Off. Starting. Up. Inhale down. If you're going to go all the way up. Hold yourself up. Down, one, two, three. Back down. Three, one more. Down. All right. Inhale. Exhale. Sit up. Back to our earthquake. This time I'm going to put my knees straight for an extra challenge. Focus on that breath. Lean a little bit further. Imagine if you were doing this and just watching TV. Sitting back, watching this football game. Alright, here we go. Bend those knees, roll on down, through the sit up. Breath in, exhale, up, two, three. Down, up, two, three. You flip the shoulders. You're still going to feel that crunch in the abs. Just because you don't sit up all the way doesn't mean you're not lifting the entire foot. Okay, a couple more. Exhale up. Up, inhale down. Alright. Last of our earthquakes, go ahead, sit on up. You can do them straight legs, back legs, whatever challenges you. Okay, our last earth earthquake. Ready? Leaning back, arms out in front of us. Are you good Inhale. Enough to wait Exhale, for sink me. a little bit lower. You're too going to push yourself here. You can do it. You can go back lower. Right arm up. Left arm up. Both arms up. A triple challenge. Both arms up. Knees getting off. Your chest. Looking past your fingertips. Past your fingertips. Hold it. You're doing great. Breathe. Focus on breathing. Woo! <sighs> Good job, everyone. Oh my goodness. Okay. Woo! Wow. <sighs> Did anyone else feel their core shaking? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, good. All right. Great job, everyone. And I know your heart rate is probably already elevated, but we're going to get it up even more now. Okay. So what we're going to do is our crazy cardio track. Now for this one, um, you're going to want to go down and up. Now I don't want you to just flop down. Okay. It's going to be very controlled control, squeeze the thighs, sorry, as you come down, okay? And then our next move, we're going to be standing up, up, down, down. That's the more intermediate version. So um, if you want, if you can't do that, just stick to this quad pulse, okay? No one's going to judge you. If you um, can't do this get up, I would rather you do the quad pulse and not fall or hurt yourself. Um, so, and then maybe one day you'll advance to that, okay? Our other move um, is going to be our plank jack. So for those who are unfamiliar with a plank jack, you're in plank position, out, in. Alt, your alternative, your modification, tap, 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 and then you're going to hover, 
the needs, okay? Again, I don't want anyone to get hurt. No one's going to judge you if you're gonna do the modification. We want to make sure you're safe and, do, and doing the right form. <sighs> okay, everyone, take a moment. Get our heart rate down a little bit before it goes right back up. And then when you're ready, join me in the quad position, facing to the side. You're going to, arms are out. Let me make sure. Sometimes my phone just doesn't like to. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going down. Hold down, lift up. Down, up. Control the down. Up. Down, up. All right, here we go. We're going to step up. Up, down, down, okay? Up, up, down, down. Up, down, down. Couple more. Down, down. Up, up, down, down. All spinning. I'm going here. Out of patience. Right hand down. Left hand down, right leg back, left leg back. We're going to tap, back, tap, back, up, up, back, back. Jack, two, three, four, and step, step, back, back. For Jack, two, three, four, and up, up, back, back. Keep that back straight, up. Drop back into cow pose. Ready for our second round? Second and last round. Ready? We're going to go. Quad pulse down. Lift up. Down. Up. Control. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the sides. And come down. Down. Up. Alright. Step. Up. Down, down. Can you stick to the quad pulses? Go ahead. I can be so permission to do that. Down, down. All right. Right arm down. Left arm down. Right leg back. Left leg back. Tap out. Tap out. Walk it in. In. Back. Back. Right down. Two. Three, four, up, up, back, back. I'm going to do the alternate. Tap, 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 cover, down, cover, down, tap, 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 cover, down, cover, down, tap, 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 cover, down, cover, down. Woo. Go back into that child's pose. Just enjoy a moment. <sighs> All right. Okay. Okay. I know I can't see everyone, but I hope that you're giving me a thumbs up. Or maybe you're just lying on the floor. Um, I know I do that during a workout, and I'm just like, can't do this anymore. <laughs> if you're lying on the floor, Go ahead, take a minute. Take a sip of water if you need to. Make sure you stay hydrated. Um, so I'm just gonna take a moment before we move on. Let me, I think the next one we're going to be doing arms. So we'll give our lower body a rest. Okay. For all those people who are sitting on the floor right now, please sit up and join me. All right. So sit however you feel comfortable. If that is cross-legged, if that is on your knees, if that is mermaid style,
however you feel comfortable, we're going to be working our arms, okay? So we're gonna have our thumbs here. We're gonna go out, in, back, okay? Modification, um, don't go, if you don't need, if you can't go back, that's okay. Just squeeze right here instead of lifting the arms, okay? Squeeze the upper back, like you're elbowing someone. All right, deep breath in. Exhale, back is tall, spine is straight, core engaged. We're gonna go out, in, back, okay? Out, in, back. Try not to move your elbows too much when you go back. You're not dropping them like that. They're in the same spot. Oh. Nice little breather after our cardio. Out, in, back. All right, arms out, angel wings. Lift up, down. Up, down. All right, switch sides. Your option is to have it down here and lift your elbow, lift to your shoulder. Instead of going above the head. We're still engaging the arm the entire time. You're just limiting, limiting your range of motion. All right, here we go. Thumbs out, out, in, back. Out, in, back. Try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. You're not squinched up. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. In, back. Out, in, back. In, back. Out, in, back. All right, arms out. Up, down. Lift, down. Again, your modification. Up, right here. Down to the floor, up the shoulder. Down, up. If you can do the full one, go ahead and do that one. But if you need to modify, floor, shoulder. Floor, shoulder. Here we go. We're going to do both arms. Up, down. Exhale, inhale. Exhale up, inhale down. Really working the shoulders. You're going to feel them burn out. It's a simple motion. You're just lifting the arms above the head. But it's doing so much for your shoulders, your biceps. Inhale. Exhale, inhale. Alright, I'm so sorry, but no break. So, out, in, back. You got a couple shoulder rolls at the end, okay? We're gonna push through this one, though. Out, in, back. Out, in, back. Out, in, back. Alright, arms out, angel wings, one side. Lift, down, lift, down. Woo, I'm starting to burn. Oh my gosh. Even this arm is not going up yet. Up, down, up, down. Like an angel wing going up, down. Nice and floaty fingers. Alright. Double angel wing. Up, down, up, down. Doing great. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, up, inhale, down. Inhale, up. Inhale, exhale. Try not to drop your, shoulder, your arms more than shoulder. I'm gonna go up and back to shoulder height. All right, one more. And down. All right, roll those shoulders out. Give me a couple forward ones, a couple backwards ones. You shake out your arms a little bit. You deserve it. That was so good. Woo! All right, good job, everyone. Okay, we're going to move on to our abs and thighs. So whenever you're ready, come on to your side with me. So you're going to be on your side, your shoulder is over your elbow. No leaning down like that. Sit up nice and tall and straight. 
Other hand in front of you to balance. Toes are gonna be pointed up, open, up, down, close. Your, your modification, come on down to the floor here and you're just going to open, lift, down, close, okay? But we're gonna start with our clamshell kicks. So, start shoulders over the elbows, the other hand in front of you. You can point the toes up or you can be down on your side, whichever one feels the most comfortable. All right, inhale, exhale. We're going to open, up, down, close. Open, up, down, close. Open, up, down, close. Open, up, down, close. We're doing great. Very controlled movement. All right. Drop the back foot. Other side. Lift. Now make pull towards the corner of the room, okay? Back to our clamshell. Feet together if you can. If not, you're on your side. Close. Open. Up. Down. Close. Now when you do the modification, it's not that it's um, not working the same muscle. Because it is. You're still working the same muscle group. And just as difficult, but with some um, modifications in case your body doesn't um, can't do one thing or another. Okay? We're going to switch onto the other side. Go ahead, turn around. Get ready. Shoulder over your knee. Sorry, shoulder over your elbow. Going to open up, down. Close. Open, up, down, close. Open, up, down, close. Here's that mermaid pulse. Lift up. Your heels pointed towards the corner of the room. You're doing great. Going back. Open, up, down, close. Open, up, down, close. Remember your modification? You're all the way down on the floor. Knees on the floor. Couple more. So go through the side. Ooh. to breathe. All right. You're going to come down onto your back. Your feet together, knees are wide, hands on your side to balance you. You're going to lift, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs, down, up, down, up, down, lift, add in the punch, butterfly bridge, stretch, lift, lift the shoulders and top the down. Butterfly crunch, bridge, 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 to the end. bridge, 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 Maybe I should keep rolling in silence. Hold it and down. Okay. All right. Um, Elsa, how are we doing on time? Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're getting close to the end of time. If you wanted to give the opportunity for people to ask some questions. Okay. Let me do a final stretch. <laughs> that that one might way great. quicker than I thought. Okay, let's do a final stretch, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, 
but let's let's cool down. Let's cool down together and make my way back to my nap. <sighs> oh my gosh, this has been such a great opportunity for me. Thank you so much. Um, I'll talk more as we go into the stretch. So all you're gonna do for this one, go ahead, lay on down. You're going to do a good morning stretch. So arms above the head, arching the back like a little people. Push the shoulders into the mat. Great. I know it's almost night time, but it's morning somewhere, right? <laughs> Arching your back, pushing your toes in. Keep breath in. Exhale, lift one leg. One knee into the chest. If that feels good, go ahead and stay there. If you want to push yourself a little bit more, go ahead and straighten the leg. Go ahead and drop the knee to the side. Other hand behind you, looking towards the back. You're stretching out the back there. So here we go again, pressing rewind. All right, come back to center. You're gonna put your foot over your knee, and then your four right here. Pull it towards you. So like I was saying, thank you so I'm much for joining me today. Um, this might be the first time for some of you um, giving a class like this, so I am so proud of you. I'm going to go grab the inside of your foot right here. Happy can be posed. Walk side to side. Stretching out your hips, your hip flexors. Back to our good morning stretch. Arms above the head. All right, other foot now. Knee into the chest. If you want to, go ahead and lift up the foot. You want to make sure you're not grabbing the knee because you don't want to hurt any of the joints or tendons around there. Grab the muscle of your toe. Bring that knee to the opposite side. Other hand behind you, look towards that back hand. Press out your back. Take a nice breath. In and out. Alright, coming back to center. Figure four on the other side. One foot over the knee. Walking side to side, massaging your lower back into the mat. I'm struggling to realize it's true. Alright. Back to your happy baby. Grab the inside. Um, maybe you can't grab your feet. Grab right here. Place the calf, your ankles. Whatever feels good. the feet go, stretch above the head, and we're going to lift up, okay, come on to all fours, turn around, we're going to be putting one leg up right here in a lunge, up, and we're going to lean over, stretch one arm above you, push down into the hip. Go ahead, bring that back. Other leg up in a lunge. Lift the other side. Looking up towards the hand. Alright. I'm going to go drop it back down. Pushing back. We're going to go back to your downward dog that we were in before. Go ahead and walk it out. Alright, 
walk the hand in toward the Go ahead and lift up. All right, we made it. Ooh, okay. Now I can read all the comments. Uh, thank you everyone so much for joining me today. Um, whether it was your first time or you've been working out for a while, I, it was really great for me to work out with all of you. Um, are there any questions? Elsa, I'll turn it back to you. You have a lot going on there and that was a great workout. Thank you for that. You um, are so silky smooth. You make it seem like it's not <laughs> hard at all until you get into it so but that was great thank you so much again jen Toe so from nice. campus wide honors um it is in their private group her posting um but if you really enjoyed this consider joining us tomorrow the la chapter in collaboration with the iranian chapter are going to show you how to do some cultural dance so that'll be a lot of fun we put the link in on the chat uh, you can also go to UCI alumni website and look at their upcoming events. For our next Ant Eater Wellness, it's going to be um, with the School of Medicine and UCI Mind. So it's all about brain energy. That'll be fun. Um, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, we hope that you'll join us some more and consider joining one of the 36 alumni chapters. We'll also hope you consider joining antnet.uci.edu. It's a great way to connect with your fellow alumni. Believe it or not, there are 200 jobs posted there. So it's just for ant eaters. It's a great way to get, um, you know, a new job if you're looking or promote or share it with somebody else. So from UCI, we want to say zot, zot, zot. Um, I'm looking at our questions of just everyone saying what an amazing job you do. What a great class this was. Um, if you're going to do any more, do you have any other classes that you do online, Tian? Um, right now, I don't have like any official classes scheduled. But but if you um, follow Pop Pilates, if you just search up Pop Pilates either on YouTube or I know some instructors actually do their classes on Instagram. Um, so that, that's a great way to find other classes. But I'll, I'll be sure to let the Alumni Association know if I start to do classes. Oh, that'll be great. That really was fun. Um, I appreciate it very much. So at that, is there anything else you'd like to share, Tian, before we say good night? Um, I just Again, thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Be sure to stay safe and um, keep working out, keep getting stronger, everything. Well, it's great to learn about Pop Pilates. I had no idea, I knew about reformers, but Pop Pilates, you taught me something new and I appreciate it. Thanks again and good night everyone. We appreciate your attendance and we look forward to seeing you hopefully tomorrow um for some dance lessons or even friday i think we've got some history makers we've got a number of events on the and eater website or if you say alumni website look under events you'll see you could be busy just about every night learning and doing something new so it's a great network so thanks again have a good night everyone